back to my channel. It's your girl. And guess what? We back with another one. We back with another one. I know it's been a minute since I've been in front of the camera talking to you guys face to face. I've been doing a lot of voiceovers because it's just been easier to edit that way. And also with it being so hot and the lights and the fan going in the background and having to turn it off I can go on and on about that so I've been coming to you guys with voiceovers but I wanted to come to you guys face to face okay and let you know what I've been battling with now I've said it before on my channel that I do suffer from PCOS and PCOS for the ladies who do know um, knows that it jacks up it messes with our hormones I didn't have like teenage acne like, I was blessed. I went throughout high school. Never really had an acne problem. My skin was flawless. I used to get compliments all the time on my skin. But as an adult, and since, you know, I had been diagnosed with PCOS, I noticed that I started having problems with my skin, getting a lot of adult acne, and then those that acne, even acne scars and hyperpigmentation, as you can see here. Look at all that. See? Now, this is actually better. I was worse. I'm going to try to insert a clip or maybe a picture of when my skin was worse. And I was just like, ugh, I look like a chocolate chip, y'all. Like, chocolate chip cookie. It was just not okay. So, this is actually an improvement. So, I'm going to be doing my skincare routine that I recently started in the past month or so. I didn't want to do it right off just in case some of these products didn't work. But it seems that these products are working for me. Some are new, so I'll let you know which ones are new that I haven't really, can't really give you a full assessment on. But, <clears throat> but the ones that I have been using for the past month or so have truly been brightening my skin and dealing with my hyperpigmentation. So we're going to get right into this. But before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notifications so you can know when your girl is dropping a new video. Also follow me on all social media platforms. Put everything on the screen here and uh, just support your girl. But we're going to get right into this. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so let's get right into this. So first what I'm going to do, let me go ahead and turn this on. First what I do is a lot of these steps I'll do once in the morning and once at night. But for the first step, I only do probably twice a week. But this is just my facial, facial steamer that I got um, off of Amazon. And what this does is that it helps to open your pores so any product that you're going to be using you're going to want to have your pores open so that the product can seep into those pores and you can get maximum benefit from those products that you put on your face so that's what this facial steamer does and it's very affordable i got this off amazon i'll link everything down in the comment section below if you're interested in getting it so i don't know if you can hear it but it's starting to you know warm up and then some of the steam is starting to come out so I did just dampen my face a little bit just put some water on my face help it out a bit and then we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get to steaming and I love this steamer you guys it just feels so good on my face it's like very relaxing it's put me in the mind of a spa like it's a spa day especially with you know COVID running rampant you can't get out and go to the spa you can't go get your facials I mean some places might be opening up to that now but I know in the beginning of this thing everything was shut down and you couldn't do these things so this really did you know come hand come in handy when trying to you know take care of your skin And I see a lot of people use this and they kind of just keep their head in one spot. And I feel like I'm not getting my whole face. <laughs> so I was like, move my face around like this. I don't really think you're supposed to, but I do it anyway. Cause I just love the way it feels. Now this only, only stays on for 10 minutes. It will automatically cut off after 10 minutes. You don't want to uh, do it for any longer than that. So keep that in mind. I 
then also try not to have it so close to your face because you don't want to get burnt either. I'm really interested to know what if there are any women out there battling PCOS, please let me know down in the comments below. Give me some tips on things that you are using that I may be able to add to my face routine that really helped for you. I really am on the market for as many products, you know, that I can try to kind of get the skin under control because I'm trying to get my skin back, y'all. Like when I tell you my skin was flawless, it was flawless. Not toot my own home, but toot toot. It was flawless. But now, you know, it's... It, not not so flawless but I'm working on it we gonna get back and I need to work on drinking water because I know that helps a lot like I need to drink a lot of water a lot more than I do and I'm really really bad at that so I need to get on top of that I need to find ways to encourage me to drink water I don't know if I gotta set alarms or what but I gotta get something done All right, so the 10 minutes has come to completion. I'm gonna set this down. You might hear it gargling in the background a little bit, but that's all right. But so, you guys, <clears throat> we're all set. We've done our steam. Our pores are open, ready to invite all these nice, beautiful products into our skin. Yeah, I'm glamming it up, but. Our pores are open, okay? That's it. That's all I got. And so the next product that I use, or what I do next, I should say, is let me first just uh, kind of just take a damp cloth and wipe away all of that. Now I go in and I just wash my face, get it nice and clean and ready for our products. And what I like to use right now to wash my face is I use the African Black Soap. And it can be really drying, so you definitely want to have a good moisturizer after you've done everything. But this really does help with the blemishes, you guys. Like, it it really lightens up those spots on my face that I was having a problem with. Uh, this is what it looks like. I uh, got this off of Amazon. Actually, my cousin, shout out to LT. My cousin uh, got it for me. And uh, it's really been helping me a lot. And it just comes in this big block. And you just kind of cut off pieces as you use them. But as you can see here, it says uh, face and body wash for blemished or blemish prone skin. I'm trying to read this backwards, y'all. That's why I sound a little crazy. Uh, but this is what I use. So. I just cut off a little piece. This is what I'm going to be using to wash my face. So I did take some of the wetness off. So I'm going to just use some water to dampen my face again. I'm going to take my soap and just kind of get a nice little lather going on like so and we're just gonna wash our face this is how we wash our face and if I'm sound sounding a little hoarse you guys because I am coming off of a cold so I'm getting over that and you know how having any type of illness during this Rona season. You would be looking at you crazy. You'd be scared to sneeze and cough in public. I'm like, I'm cool. It's just the cold, you guys. Don't have the Rona. Let me put a little bit more water on this. And I just took a little piece off and just massaging it. Make sure you do not get this in your eyes because it burns. Trust me, I know. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm just gonna take my wet cloth and wash it all the way. All right, so I'm back. As you can see, my face is a nice and clean. So I'm ready to move on with our next product. Now, before I get into this product, I want to let you know that this product has not launched yet. But I'm just so excited about the product. And I'm excited that I got the chance to try it out before it actually hits the shelves, okay? But this product is a black-owned business by one of my good friends, Miss Clarissa Cawthorn. And the name of her company is called Birch and Bear. And just give you guys a little sneak peek. I'm not going to go into it too much because it hasn't launched. But the products are so bomb. Now, my sis, she is really going to take the beauty industry by storm with her products because they're, they're top shelf. I really do enjoy these products. They make my skin feel so nice and so soft after I've done using them. So this one I'm going to get into right now is actually their Healing Wings Microderm Scrub. Now this one you only use once a week. It really does help to get all alleviate all the dead skin and really gets into your pores and just gives you a nice fresh clean feel after using this but you only use it once a week so I'm gonna get right into this product and uh, show you how it works so I'm just taking about like a quarter sized amount okay And then just gently rub and circular motion into the skin. And this helps with any dead skin that you may have on here. It feels so good. Just be gentle because you don't want to damage your skin. Always gently rub it into or massage it into the skin. And you just need to do this, like I said, once a week. All right, so now that I've gotten that all taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and I'll be back. All right, so I just wa washed off the microderm scrub by Birch and Bear. And now what I'm gonna get into is the Minimo products that I've been using. Now, there's two products that I use from the company Minimo. I also believe they are black own business but don't quote me on that uh, but I use two of their products one I just started using recently so I can't really give you a fair review or assessment on that product but so far I've liked I like how it feels but I haven't really been able to tell you if it works or not but the other product that I'm going to use it has worked and I do love the outcome of that product but let's get into their charcoal face scrub now, this is the new product that I've used. It's a charcoal face scrub, and it says here, use this if you have sensitive skin, breakout prone skin, which I have, oily skin, which I have, and congested pores, which I have. So, let's go ahead and get this on. And it says here on the box, it says, Activated charcoal has been proven to reach deep into the skin's pores to remove toxins, toxins, impurities. Activated charcoal naturally attracts debris, leaving refreshed, clean skin after use. So this is especially formulated for breakout prone skin. So this should do me well. And this is what it looks like outside of the box. 
So it says take a quarter amount of product. It's about a quarter. And I'm gonna leave all of this info down in the description below if you're interested. Mm, it smells good. I just dropped some. Now, y'all know it says only use a quarter, but you know how we do. We never really listen to what the instructions say, and that could be a reason why. Some of the products don't work half the time. But I just felt like that wasn't enough. So you're supposed to put this all over your face. Work it in. And then let it set for 10 minutes and then wash it off. This product you can use it twice a day once in the morning and once at night so that's what I've been doing so I'll do this step again later on tonight alrighty so I got it all on so what I'm gonna do now is gonna hang out for 10 minutes let this sit then I'm going to go wash my face off and I'll be right All right, so I went ahead and washed off that charcoal face scrub by the company Minimo. Now the next product I'm gonna be using is from that same company and I absolutely love this product. This product is for, it's a turmeric mask or a turmeric, turmeric scrub, which is good for hyperpigmentation and blemishes and that's what I really struggle with. So I've been using this product for about almost two months now and it has done wonders is that it has really brightened my skin and taken it from where it used to be just a short time ago to where it is now so I do love it I'm actually almost out of it so I did uh, just order another one so this is it now it when you first buy it I recommend I recommend getting it with the scrub because you can buy it just with the, the little face mask without the scrubber or you can get them both together so I recommend buying it with the scrubber and then when you just need to re-up you can just buy the actual face mask itself uh, but yeah this is a turmeric face scrub and uh, I've tried other ones that didn't I don't feel really worked well for me I didn't work well for, oh, I can't talk today <laughs> that didn't work well for me but this one as you can see your girl's been using it <laughs> this one has really worked well for me so same thing you're supposed to put a quarter amount a quarter shaped however you say that let me just read it because i'm butchering this actually this one is a massage a dime sized amount but again i never i never follow that I'm bad when it comes to that. I put on what I make, what makes me feel comfortable, which is probably bad. So I just take it here, focusing on the areas that I suffer the most in, like right here. And in my forehead, you guys, it used to be so bad. It's gotten so much better. And I always get my pimples right here, so that's why you see those dark marks there. And this one again, you do use twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. So that's what I will do. I'm doing it during the day right now. And then before bedtime, I'll go in and do it at night.
Now I'm just gonna take the scrubber and just kind of massage that into my skin. And it can be because it is turmeric it can be can cause staining I should say so when you're going to rinse your face or wash your face off I would say use like a dark colored washcloth or a color that is almost the same color as this mask because if you use a light colored or a white one it will stain it And I tend to get like cystic acne on my jawline here that caused some horrible acne scars once they're gone. So I have to put some under there too. And I just hate those cyst cystic acne because I don't pop them. I don't pop those ones because they're painful. But it doesn't matter if I don't pop them, I'm still going to get an acne scar. Oh, it sucks. Good thing it's not dirty. I don't really get them a lot directly on my face. It's really like underneath here that I get them. But it's not cute. So again, I've got this on. So I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to wash it off. And then I will come back. All right, so one thing I failed to mention is, well, I mentioned that it's stained. So if ladies, if you have white fingernails like I do, I would suggest wearing gloves because <laughs> my white has turned yellow. I don't know if you can see it on here, but it caused it to turn yellow, so. I will highly recommend wearing gloves when doing the turmeric mask because now I have yellow fingers. Yay me. That's it. My 10 minutes is almost over. Alright, so I'll be back. I'm back. I washed away the turmeric mask. And now I'm going on to a, one of the last steps or one of my last products that I use on my face. Now, this is an old school product. If you know, you know. It is a fading cream that I use by Ambi. This old school, y'all. Leave a comment down below if you know what this is or if you've used it growing up. But it is a skin bleaching agent, so I would say be careful when using this because you don't want to botch your skin. I just put on a nice thin layer to the affected areas. I don't put it all over my face or anything like that because I don't want my skin to be blotchy. So I just take a little bit like so, put it on those affected areas like here, here, here. And I just kind of massage it into those areas. And this stuff worked wonders. Like when I was a kid, I was clumsy. Well, I still am clumsy, but I would put this on my scars so that they would fade. You can use this twice a day as well. 
Sometimes I only use it once. And that's all it. We're all rubbed in. We got it all over the place. That's enough for that. And then my final product I use is just some moisturizer because that black soap, like I said, it is drying. And then all the products that we use, we just want to keep our face nice and moisturized. So I'm going in with my Birch and Bear moisturizer. I love this stuff. This stuff is bomb.com. We'll get into all of the deets about this later when it's launched. But I do love this moisturizer. It just leaves my face feeling nice, fresh, and refreshed. And I just open it. We got three or four pumps. And load it. And alrighty, that's it. That is my skincare routine, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and could take something away from this video. My skin is a work in progress, as you can see, but I have come along, I've come a long way from what it used to look at like just a couple of months ago. So the products that I have been using have been proven to work. So, like I said, I'll leave everything down in the description below if you're interested in getting some of those things. With the Baron Birch, I'll definitely, when that launches, do another video to let you know if you're interested in those products, okay? But, as always, you guys, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications so you can be the first to know when I'm dropping another video. But I'm going to get out of your hair, let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your day, or watch some more of my videos, whatever it is that you want to do. You know I'm shy. But that's it. Peace out. I love you guys. Bye!